Good evening everyone, I'm Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine. EQ International is India's leading solar media in operation since 2009. And today I have the honor of having Mr. Kuljeet Singh Popli, who is the Chairman and Managing Director of Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency, that is AREDA. Hello sir. Hello. So, first of all sir, I would like to uh, have your comments on the general financing scenario of the of the Indian uh, renewable energy market right now and uh, what kind of role is Reda playing in that? See, the financing market has become in fact better than what it was few years back. Uh, ease of getting credit has gone up. The loan period for which earlier door to door loan period has gone up. Uh, cost of finance has come down and I think they are also experimenting with various different models on which they, they are trying to get the finance. In fact, we are also giving letter of comfort also for getting buyer's credit, supplier's credit for them. So, a lot of new things have happened in the market. Also, if you look at rooftop sector, uh, they, they are getting finance at 8.4 from SBI. So that is another good thing that has happened to the sector because earlier it was becoming difficult. Then for we, of course, we also had for commercial and resident, uh, commercial and industrial rooftop. But our since our cost of borrowing is higher, our lending rate is higher than SBI. But then SBI and other banks are giving it at a lower rate. Uh, almost 100, 150 basis point the interest rates have come down over the years, and they are getting it for 15 years, 17 year period. So I think also. We have seen a tendency of prepaying the loans, going to the bond market. A lot of developers are going to the bond market, raising money at a lower rate and prepaying the banks. So, things have changed. Uh, can you throw some light on the financials of Ereda, sir? The total book size, how many projects have you financed it and what's the upcoming pipeline in the coming one year or so? Yeah, we have, we have financed more than 2400 projects so far. I mean, in the last 30 years. We have asset book of around 15,000 crores and going forward of course with the new bidding that is going to happen and earlier bids that have happened at a lower rate, I think we will be getting fresh projects now for financing. In terms of megawatts, sir, how much does it uh, uh, convert to for 15,000 crore? 15,000 crore asset book will convert to because we have co-financing also. So if you take two and a half crore per megawatt, it will be around it. 7 to 8,000 crore, 8,000 8, megawatt. That's great. So, I would also like to have your comments, sir, on the on, on any activities if Ereda is doing for financing rooftop and residential rooftop and distributed solar projects. We were the first one to announce a scheme for uh, rooftop solar for commercial and industrial applications. Uh, of course, for residential, we cannot do it unless some utility comes in between and takes a lump sum loan from us. But uh, Otherwise, for industrial and commercial rooftop, we had a scheme. We were the first one to announce below 10, sub-10 rates. Uh, of course, afterwards, SBI got it, got a line of credit from World Bank and they could lend it much cheaper. Can you throw some more light on, 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 on that particular scheme you are talking about, sir? No, they, they have taken a line of credit from World Bank. I think they got $300 million. And since they can hedge it better, SBI can hedge it better, they are lending at 8.4%. That's great. So I'd just like to have your final comments on some recent industry issues which have been doing rounds in the in the in the talking circles of the industry. First comes the anti-dumping petition, which is being pushed for in 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 the recent months, but still there's no clarity. What are your views on that? How is it going to impact the industry? See, inquiry is going on. Indian manufacturers have petitioned for anti-dumping duty. Last time it was not accepted. This time uh, I don't know what will be the outcome. But uh, definitely the cost should go up a little bit. But then you, you have to weigh whether, whether how much will it support make in India uh, and how much will the cost, if at all, it will go up. And maybe in the long run, it is more beneficial. These are things to be seen. Uh, and these are debatable, I think. So it is not 
easy to say yes or no to to how whether it is like yeah. just today itself sir i was speaking to mr chetan cha of goldy green and and i and on his comments on on anti dumping that's what about that's what my response was that there has been not so many differing opinions than what we are seeing on anti dumping petition with every with a, with every other stakeholder there is a different opinion uh just one last thing sir we have also uh, got news recently there was some uh, things going on in the in the industry that there has been some news of uh, ppa renegotiation so how do you see that particular thing i think ppa renegotiation has happened in two or three states where they they asked them to renegotiate one was in karnataka where probably they were renegotiating because krc has not approved the pp final so well that is <coughs> their call but the other thing that i know is probably in up they had tried to renegotiate and the rate was very high i think 7 rupees or something so i think these are few things that you will have to take in stride as you go along uh, but i don't think they would be adequately uh, they would be harming the projects per se i i i f- feel so because both sides will be rational and per se as per contract it should not be negotiated i don't know in uh, on what basis these these are being opened up but i am sure there would be some justification if they are doing it although ministry has written a letter that if these uh, pps have been signed they should not be opened up so i don't know whether th- these are before i mean uh, if those pps who were on mou route there could be a chance but otherwise on the bidding route if that is happening then that should not happen so thank you so much mr popley that was a really nice opportunity speaking with you thanks for enlightening views thanks for your time sir thank you thank you very much